Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve the event ID 6008 error you're receiving in the event viewer. This says that the previous system shutdown was unexpected. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I just want to point out is if you just did a hard power off without doing the proper shutdown procedures, that certainly would explain why you received that error message. So in most cases, it can just be safely disregarded, so just worth noting. However, if there's any additional information in that error message that could always be helpful, if you could just try to recall what you were doing at the time of that unexpected shutdown and then just avert doing those activities later, that's certainly something I would recommend exploring. Something else we can try as well, just a couple other miscellaneous things we can take a look into here, would be to open up the search menu and type in Windows Update, best match, or come back to Windows Update Settings. Go ahead and open that up. And then go ahead and check for updates. So sometimes Windows Updates might cause the system to automatically or unexpectedly restart. So just go ahead and check for any pending updates that may be waiting on your system to install. And then once that's done installing, you'd want to go ahead and actually restart your computer. And that would be the first thing I'd recommend taking a look at there. Something else as well you can look into would be to open up the search menu and type in device manager. Best match, or come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the display adapter section here. And then right click on whatever display adapter is listed in this drop down list and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer-specific driver you're looking to update. Otherwise, you can select a generic driver as well if that's the only option available. And then select Next. And then once that is done, just give that a moment there. You can close out of here. If you have a manufacturer-specific driver, you're welcome to go onto their website as well and then download the most up-to-date drivers from that source directly. Um, that's something else I'd recommend taking a look at. And then something else we can look into here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now into this command prompt window, type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.